Still on our series of chronic kidney disease, and in this next lecture, we'll be looking at the possible causes of chronic kidney disease. All right? So for the causes of chronic kidney disease, we have them listed. I'll just be listing them. Then probably um, we'll come back to these images to do summary. Then I'll be telling you guys one or two if I fully understand any cause, right? So for the causes of CKD, okay, we have like two papers, right? Hypertension. Hypertension could cause what? A chronic kidney disease. Why? Because there's now a high blood, okay? All right, like the blood perfusion to the kidneys coming on a high force and all that, all right? The chronic glomerulonephritis. Glomerulonephritis is what? Inflammation of the glomerulus, right? Inflammation of the glomerulus. So now you know that the glomerulus is like that filter that is now repelling all those proteins back, repelling blood back. Now, if the filter has a problem, you now have what? The influx of um, blood, you have the influx of proteins into urine, okay, which is usually a problem. The another cause could be diabetes mellitus, right? Another cause could be malaria parasites. Then you could have what infections from viruses like hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, all right? Then um, UTI, that's all. Any urinary tract infection cannot actually cause what? A chronic kidney disease, all right? And when we say chronic kidney disease, you guys already know what we mean by chronic kidney disease. That's a disease of the kidney that has been there for more than three months, right? Then other causes could be obstructive or uropathies. That's any disease condition that there's mechanical obstruction in the urinary tract, either in the urethra or in the bladder or any other place, right? Can actually cause a, it can cause a backlog of urine, okay? And trust me, this will result into what? A kidney disease. There's some drugs. Some drugs can, have some toxic effects on the kidney. Then some inherited kidney diseases can be there. Then some connective tissue disease like what? Systematic, systemic lupus erythematosus, then rheumatoid arthritis, all this can result in kidney disease, all right? So looking at this picture, let's use it for summary. Uh, we have diabetes, we have high blood pressure, that's hypertension. There's some heart problems, all right? Heart problems, generally obesity, if you are fat okay then uh family history it could be that this thing just actually runs in your family tobacco if you smoke you have a high chance then age age is also a factor if you are more than 60 years old all right there is a chance of you having a chronic kidney disease all right so these are the various causes of chronic kidney disease all right 